Hello everyone, my name's Karishma and I usually do story time and craft activities at Malsey Library. Thank you so much for joining me online today with Surrey Libraries. I hope you're all having a lovely day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how to make a super cool walking ant. I think these are a great way to show off all your imagination skills. You can decorate your ant however you like and then you can play with them in so many different ways. I had so much fun making this video so I hope you all try this activity out yourself. You also learn about ant body parts. Did you know that an ant's body is divided into three main parts? So there's the head, thorax and the abdomen. We're going to be making all these parts later on. Here's what you need. Two pieces of A4 coloured paper or white paper to make the ant. I've chosen red card to make my ant today. A craft stick, a black felt tip marker, two googly eyes, or you can use your black felt tip marker for the eyes. A pair of scissors and a glue stick. First of all, get the paper that you're going to be making your ant out of. Now, do you remember how many parts I said the ant's body is made out of? I said that at the beginning of this video. Do you remember? So the ant's body is made up of three rectangle parts. Now, do you remember what rectangle parts these are called on the ant? So the medium size is the head, the smallest is the thorax and the biggest is the abdomen. So we need to roughly cut these out off the piece of paper with our scissors. So you can draw them out first if you like and then cut them out. But I think our ant will look really lovely and cute if we roughly cut each part out by ourselves. This might make your walking ant look really funny if you end up doing some imaginative play after the craft. So, let's cut out a small, medium and large rectangle. Here we go! Excellent work everyone, well done! Now, we need to roughly cut out a rectangle for the base. So, I think the easiest way is to use the guide on the paper that you've just cut the rectangles out of. So we use this for the smallest rectangle, which was for the thorax, and cut the base so that it is roughly the same size as the thorax. So just like this. Okay, so I've just trimmed off my base a little bit. Fabulous! Okay, so this one will be for our base. So we're going to put this in a really safe place for the moment. Now, we need to roll up and use our glue stick to glue each part into a tube. So just like this, one little roll like that. Excellent work everyone, well done. Okay, great. So once we've glued them into a tube shape, get your rectangle base and glue the parts in order of the head thorax and the abdomen. Do you remember which one was which? So this piece was the thorax, this was the abdomen and this was the head. So we're going to put the head first and then the thorax and then the abdomen. Excellent work everyone, I really hope that you're all doing okay. 
I would love to see photos of your amazing walking ant in the comments below. So don't forget to take a photo so that I can see. Now let's cut the ant's antennae out. So get your second A4 piece of paper and cut out two long rectangle shapes. So once again, these can be whatever size you like. I think our ant will look super adorable if we be really creative with how we cut out each part. Okay, great. Now, fold a little bit of the antennae at the bottom. So just like this. And then glue this on top of the head. So put a little bit of glue on here. Fabulous! And if you want, then you can bend the end of the antennae forward to make your ant look extra lovely and cute. So just like this. Well done everyone! Now let's give our lovely ant a face. So get your googly eyes and glue them on the head. Now time for a big smiley face with our black felt tip marker. Okay, so the ant will have six legs. So get the paper that you use for the antennae and cut out six long rectangles. And once again, these can be however long you like. You can use your imagination. Here we go. Okay, great. Now watch this step really carefully. So maybe watch what I'm going to do first, pause the video and then try it out yourself. So we need to fold the top down a little bit. So like this. And we need to fold the bottom down a little bit. So like this. And we need to fold the middle the other way. So we folded down these ways, now this way for the middle. And repeat the same step with all the legs. Fabulous work everyone, well done! Now let's glue the legs under the base of the thorax, which is the middle part. Excellent work everyone, well done! How are you all doing? Make sure you let me know in the comments below. Now let's turn our paper craft into a walking puppet. So take your craft stick and put some glue onto it and stick it onto the ant's abdomen. So the biggest part of your ant. And please make sure that the craft stick's handle sticks out at the back. So put a lot of glue in your craft stick so that it sticks onto the ant and then turn your ant around and make sure you stick it onto the base. So push down. Wow, amazing! Now hold your craft stick handle and gently twist your wrist from side to side and move your hand forward to make the ant's puppet walk along. Isn't this so cool? Well done everyone, fabulous work. I know I'm going to have so much fun playing with my walking ants. Ah, uh, thank you so much for watching this craft video and I hope you all managed to make your own walking ant. They're so cool, aren't they? Make sure you get a grown up to take a picture of yours and leave it in the comments below. Have a lovely day and I'll speak to you all very soon. Bye everyone!